I was able to make $60,000 from a single product by doing drop shipping. So I am going to break down all my process step by step so that you can learn how I found that product, where I start advertising that product and how much money I have made through that product. If you don't know what drop shipping is, this is basically a business model where you find a winning product, list that product on your store and start advertising that product on TikTok, Facebook, Google and all other social media pages. Once you receive an order on your store, you simply place the order with your supplier and supplier ship the product directly to your customer. If you want to learn step by step process, I have already made the video, you can check the link in description. So back in 2017, I decided to start a dropshipping store. I was working for an e-commerce company and my job was related to handle the Amazon account. After working a year at their company, I decided to start my own dropshipping store from scratch. So basically the first hurdle for me to find a winning product that customers are looking for on Google, on Facebook and other social media platforms. I start exploring the Facebook, AliExpress and all other dropshipping websites which were running the Facebook ads at that time and I was able to find them through Facebook ads library. So I was successful to find a product which was selling on AliExpress for 25 USD and in Australian market it was selling for 65 USD on different dropshipping stores. In the start my store was general and I was selling different products but I was not making any sales. So I decided to go with that product and made a single product niche store. There was no competition on Amazon. There was no competition on eBay. As all the sellers who were selling their product, I find out they are directly shipping from AliExpress. So whenever you are going to find a winning product, always check the prices on Amazon. Always check the prices on eBay. They are basically having the stock at their warehouse and you will hardly able to beat those prices. So once you are able to find out there is very less competition on Amazon and eBay, then you can go for that product. Now after checking the stats of that product, I decided to start advertising that product. I also calculated my profit margins because it was selling for 25 USD on AliExpress and I checked my competitors on which price they are selling, what is their average order value, almost how much units of that product they are selling on daily basis. If you are going to check the stats for any product on Amazon, you can use Keepa, you can use Helium 10. There are plenty of free tools available to check the stats of any product. You can use them to check the stats on Amazon, on eBay and other marketplaces. Keepa is one of them and it will show you how much units of this product are selling on daily basis. Also, you will be able to find out the inventory of any product with other suppliers. While you are dropshipping, make sure to go for any product which has profit margins of almost 30 to 40 percent. You will be spending your budget on ads, on tools and other things. If your profit margins are 30 to 40 percent, you will be able to earn 20 to 25 percent after expenses. Once I find out that product, I contacted with the supplier to negotiate the price. In start, I was not able to negotiate the price because I was just starting out. But when I started to scale the store and I was able to generate more orders, I asked my supplier to negotiate the price so that my profit margins would be higher. Now that product was basically a do-it cover and I asked my supplier to add free pillowcases and made my custom packaging with my brand logo. I take custom orders from my customers and ask customers to wait for 10 to 12 days to get their order delivered. That was a unique thing which I have added with my product and many of my competitors were not doing that. So basically any customer who wants to order the gift for their loved ones, they were able to print the names on custom products. Now after finding the products, checking my competitors and negotiating with the supplier, the next step was to advertise that product. So I took good photos of my product, created a Facebook page, the targeted audience was the moms, was the old ones, grandmothers, grandparents who wanted to gift that product to their loved ones on their anniversary, on their birthdays and other events. So I selected my target audience and started with an engagement campaign to check whether this kind of audience is interested in my product or not. In the meantime, after seeing engagement on my ads, I started the process to build my own website. So I built a single product website attaching the payment method of PayPal and Shopify payments. Whenever I got any inquiry of my product in my inbox and in comments, I sent them my website link to make a purchase. So at that moment, I was running only engagement campaign and I was not running any call to action campaign. That means I was not sending any traffic to my website directly. So I decided once I got plenty of engagements on my campaigns, then I will target those who have already engaged with my ads by creating call to action campaigns. And my pixel will be able to gather more customers like this by learning about the customer behavior. If you create call to action campaigns in start, your pixel will not be able to collect enough data. But once you have created engagement campaigns already, and now you have created call to action campaigns to target those audience who have already engaged with your ads, they 
are more likely to visit your website and your pixel will be more intelligent to find out what kind of audience you are looking to target. Once I started getting few orders from my website, I also got plenty of queries from a customer regarding payment gateways. Actually, they were inquiring about Afterpay, which is a pay later service. In that time, buy now pay later services were much more popular. So I created a merchant account with Afterpay and enabled them on my own website. By doing that, my average order value went higher and I was able to make more sales through Afterpay. If you are going to start dropshipping website right now, make sure to have all of the payment gateways on your website. In that way, your website conversion rate and average order value will be higher. Now, after creating ads on Facebook Ad Manager, I was also checking the ads which are performing well so that I can increase their budget to get more sales. After my pixel gathered a lot of data about my audience, I also created retargeting ads. Retargeting ads are for those who have visited your website but have not made a purchase. By doing all of these things, I was able to generate almost $60,000 from a single product. So how exactly this has happened? All because of my advertising plan and adding value to the product. I also collected emails from my customers to retarget them through email marketing. Once you are going to scale your store or you want to add any new product to your store, you can always email to your customers about new collections and any discount which you are going to offer. I expanded my niche later on in that kind of products and I was able to generate a million dollar in just 11 months. So to summarize my today video, if you want to be successful in dropshipping, the very first step is to find a winner product. So once you find out a winner product, the next step is to target your audience. It can be on Google, it can be on TikTok, it can be on Facebook. If you are successful in these two steps, you will be able to make good sales. Then simply build a website for that single product which you have found out and start creating content for your product to target your audience. After getting some engagement on your content or on your ads, later on you can target them by putting the link in your bio or by creating the ads to send the traffic directly to your website. Once you started making sales on your store, make sure to collect the reviews from your customers and also email address to target them later for email marketing. Ask your customer to leave the reviews on Google and Facebook. You can also put the reviews on your website on your product pages as well. I hope this video will help you in the process of finding a winning product. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing the channel and like the video. If you have any questions, just mention them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them as soon as possible. We have also created a free ebook for you to start your own dropshipping business. You can check the link in description and download it for free. If you have any topic which you would like me to cover, please also mention in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. You have a great day. Bye bye.